everyone in this video we will discuss about the concept of namespace in c++ so first of all what is namespace namespace is the container for identifier in c++ if we want to require some declaration like some variables function and classes in our program we put it into a group and this group is called a namespace so namespace is a group of declaration the main advantage of namespace is to avoid name collision for example you might be writing some code that has a function called abc and there is another library available which is also having same function abc now compiler has no way of knowing which version of abc function you are referring to within your code so our namespace is designed to overcome this difficulty and is used as additional information to differentiate similar functions classes variable with the same name available in different library what is the exact need of using namespace in c++ let's see the example we have declared one integer type variable a and value 10 is assigned to variable a then declare same variable of double type and value 12.20 is assigned to it then with c out try to display the value of a which is of integer type and value of a which is of double type run this code after the execution of this code there is a compile time error because variable a is previously declared as int a two variables with the same name cannot be used in the same scope we can efficiently resolve this problem by using the concept of namespace we use namespace to avoid name collision we create a namespace like class but do not put semicolon at the end of the namespace like we used to do in a class we cannot define a namespace inside a function we always define namespace as a global and we can use an alternative name for the namespace name so we can use it easily a namespace is not a class so it does not have an object how to declare namespace namespace keyword then name of the namespace first is a name of the namespace you can write any name variable a is declared inside the scope of first name we can create more than one namespace in a single program namespace second is the name of the second namespace inside the body of second namespace declare a variable a which is of double type inside the scope of first namespace we have declared variable of integer type and inside the scope of second namespace we have declared a variable of double type now next is how to assess the variables from outside namespace inside the main function
first of all display the message with three out then write down the name of namespace then scope resolution operator then name of the variable assess the variable of second namespace name of the namespace scope resolution operator then name of the variable now run this code now after the execution of this code the value of e is 10 which is of integer type and value of e is 10.2 which is of double type same way we can assess the member function with the help of namespace first of all define the member function inside the first namespace that print the message first after that define the member function inside the second namespace now same function is there in first namespace and in the second namespace the function defined inside the first namespace display the message first and function defined inside the second namespace display the message second now how to assess the function from namespace First of all, write down the name of namespace, then scope resolution operator, then name of the function. Name of the namespace, scope resolution operator, then name of the function. Now run this code. After the execution of this code, the output is first of all. member function of namespace first called that print the message first then after that member function of second namespace called that print the message second there is one important note no semicolon is required after the closing this And to call the namespace, always use name of the namespace, then scope resolution operator, then name of the variable, function, or a class. Next is how to use namespace with a class. First of all, inside the namespace, create a class with the class keyword class abc abc is the name of the class and class having public member function void put and class body and with the closing curly braces and semicolon namespace first First is the name of the namespace and namespace body start with opening curly braces. Inside the body of namespace create a class and class having one public member function that print the message first class body under with the closing curly braces and semicolon and namespace body under with the closing curly braces. Now inside the main function create the object of class how to create the object of class when we have defined class inside the scope of namespace 
So first of all, write down the name of namespace, then scope resolution operator, then name of the class, then name of the object. Now with the help of object, we can assess the member function a1 dot put. Now run this code. After the execution of this code, the message first is to be printed onto the screen. A class can also be declared inside namespace and define outside namespace. Next is C++ std namespace. The identifiers of C++ standard libraries are defined in a namespace called std namespace. In order to use any identifier belonging to the standard library, we need to specify that it belongs to the std namespace. So one way to do this is by using the scope resolution operator. Now if we remove this namespace from the program and try to print the message hello onto the screen without using namespace then there will be an error. Cout was not declared in this scope. In order to use any identifier belonging to the standard library, we need to specify that it belongs to std namespace. So one way to do this is by using the scope resolution operator. std is the name of the namespace and then use scope resolution operator. Then again there is an error, endl was not declared in this scope, std, scope resolution operator, then endl. The execution of this code now, hello is to be printed onto the screen. In this code we have used std scope resolution operator before C out. This tells the C++ compiler that the C out object we are using belongs to std namespace. Suppose we have declared one variable A and we want to input the value of A. Again there is the error. Scene was not declared in this scope. Then we have to use std namespace with scope resolution operator. std scope resolution operator before c in this tells the c++ compiler that the c in object we are using belongs to std namespace second way is std namespace with the using declaration We can bring selected identifiers to the current scope with the help of using declaration. To do this, we utilize the using keyword. Using the name of the namespace, then scope resolution operator, then name of the object. Using keyword, the name of the namespace scope resolution operator, then name of the object. Right? This is the second view. 
in this case we are telling the compiler that we want to bring only the identifiers c out c in from the standard namespace to the current scope if we want to use all the identifiers of std namespace then include using namespace std in the program the using directive bring all the identifiers of a namespace into the current scope this is all about the concept of namespace in c++